you don't deserve anything, especially anything negative. I see this so many times. People saying, they deserved it. They did something bad, because they are a flawed person, a sinner, and so they deserve retribution. It's like we speak of life as something we have to be good enough to merit. We create life. We are life, so why would we have to earn ourselves? This is all so wrong. Nobody deserves anything negative, or bad. I think this is a twist of the law of attraction, it's the way it's been twisted in our psyches, that we deserve bad karma if we have done something wrong. Crime and punishment. Being bad and people getting even. If someone gets even with someone who's done something wrong, then what does that make them? Just as bad. Hurting someone is hurting someone, it doesn't matter who started it. Be the one to stop it. Learn to forgive. Ivo, correct, my love. Me, I get victims who are stuck in anger screaming at me because I said we attract our life circumstances, we create our life. But it's true. The thing they don't understand, and I was like that for a long time, is that you're going through this horrible experience so you can overcome it. The reason you're going through this is because you're learning to be more powerful or more loving, or both. The beauty of this is that once your vibrational frequency reaches a certain point of peace and being more loving, you won't even care so much when you look back on your horrible life and you'll be able to look on others and yourself with forgiveness. I think the only thing we really need to be forgiven for is learning to misperceive what life is about. We got it all wrong because that was what was taught to us. I know I resisted my parents' nonsense when I was a kid, but eventually they won and I became split and damaged. Reference the threefold flame in your heart, wisdom, love, and power. You may be working on all three. The reason you're going through a bad circumstance or circumstances is because you are to prevail. The sooner you stop accepting this for yourself and start to change your life for the better, the better for you. Realize you can, otherwise you wouldn't have created these circumstances for yourself. Ivo, those who believe in retribution are separationists. They believe that others are separate from themselves because they have separate bodies. But they believe in a physical life where bodies are separate. It is not that way at all. It appears to be that way, but as many of you have already surmised, life on earth is not what it appears to be. Not at all. To say that you deserve something indicates that initially you may not merit all the goodness life has to give. For that reason alone, is why you would accept living a life that is less than your happiest, most loving best. These concepts that are accepted, even touted as morals in separationist society, are untrue. When you accept the concept that everyone is perfect, then you realize that everyone deserves the highest good. It is not a question of earning it, it is a question of your birthright. So you see how the Matrix ideas, draconian ideas of some being more worthy than others, has insinuated itself into your societies and has become acceptable to those who, at one time, would have known better. Me, yes. The draconians think like that. Everything is caste, all rank, and file. They live in a layered society with the haves at the top and the have-nots at the bottom. And they've imposed their wayward model of life upon us here. Makes sense for someone of such low vibration, really. They're at the bottom of the barrel, so they have to create a way for someone else to be worse off than they are. So they create a society for us to be that way and then because we really hold the power, but they're manipulating us out of it, they feel like gods by comparison. It's all got to do with comparison, which we have videos on as well. Don't compare yourself to others, otherwise you're creating separation. Comparison and whole lot of lying, manipulation, and control. Ivo, exactly, my love. You are not deserving of anything but the utmost of whatever you desire. That is what you deserve because you are not flawed, you are not lacking, you are perfect beings created in God's image. You are part of God and because of that, you are deserving of everything beautiful. You deserve perfection. Yet you are now living far from it because your world was overtaken by those with a different idea of life, 
one that is malevolent and which is psychotic. You see the effect that thinking of yourself as being not deserving would have on a human. You are such beautiful creators that you can create the state of negativity within yourselves. I am here to tell you you are all wonderful beings of creation and we wish you to stop accepting less than the very best for yourselves personally and on a global level. Those who feel themselves undeserving can also create sickness within their bodies. When you see yourself as less than others, do you then feel you deserve good health? How could you feel yourself deserving of good health when you think of yourself as undeserving? The past must be worked through and new ideas taken on and practiced daily. Ideas such as this. All are perfect and all deserve the most of God's love. What you speak of as being deserving of, is actually your birthright. Let that sink in. Me, yup. It's all been stolen from us by beings that didn't deserve it. That's why they had to steal it, it's not their birthright. It's ours. Don't talk about what you deserve, talk about your rights but allow others the same rights otherwise you don't get yours. Remember how you treat others is how you treat yourself. We are all one. Ivo, in your personal lives, you must listen for people who speak of others as undeserving. Understand that when people speak in triangulation that they are speaking of this. The victim, the perpetrator, and the rescuer, the only deserving person is the rescuer. The others are flawed. This model must be cast out of your minds and you must see all as perfect. Those who have overtaken your world and are attempting to create a third world war now, can also be forgiven. Because in being forgiving, you rise above them. They will be removed by the appropriate people. There are people tasked with doing this on your world now. They work with the light. Be rest assured that the light will prevail. They must be taken out so that your people will understand the truth of their reality again. And this will take time. Perhaps for some, many lifetimes. The draconian way will be expunged from your minds and from your planet and eventually Earth will be as it was intended, a beautiful perfect place for those with loving minds to inhabit. I leave you now, and thank all for their indulgence. Me, thank you, Ivo.